I hope that everyone is prepared and finish finish preparation for for this this uh, workshop. My name is Tom, and I will guide you through the block one, where we extract data from Open Map, uh, Open Street Map, and uh, do the first first step in in uh, our our goal for this this workshop. The our goal is then take the Open Street Map. PBF file from Buenos Aires City. Then use OpenMap Tiles project where we add new extra layer into into this in, into this project, and uh, the final result of the first block of our whole uh, workshop is to have Postgre with full of data from OpenStreetMap. These are the steps. The, the, the main three steps are how to accomplish this, this uh, block one is to download and set up OpenMap Tiles project. And I hope that uh, everyone was able to pull uh, Docker images, but I hope that that's, uh, that's okay and we will pass through in in this block the second step is create create extra layer into the open map tiles project where we add uh, three main new files ping file configuration file and sqli uh, sql files and the last step is import open the downloaded Open read map from the first step into the PostgreSQL. But first of all, I would like to introduce OpenMap Tiles project. OpenMap Tiles project is open source projects which allows you to convert OpenStreetMap or any other spatial data from PostgreSQL to vector tiles in MB tiles format. There are basically two projects, uh, open map tiles, which define a schema. Schema defines which data will be shown in particular room and in a particular uh, way, the, the best way. And the second project is open map tiles tools, where uh, which contain all tools necessary for import. Uh, OSM or any other data into into PostgreSQL and even uh, generate the tiles itself. If you would like to know more about OpenMap tiles, please uh, came to Friday came uh, at Friday on my presentation uh, from uh, 10, 10 and a.m. in Buenos Aires time. OpenMap tiles have seven, seven makefile targets, which run through whole project from download, which download data from uh, OpenStreetMap, basically from uh, GeoFabric or uh, OSMR, or your URL or uh, any, any data source. Then th there are uh, the, or they, there is make make target import data, which imports uh, stable data like nature earth data, which are used for upper zoom upper zoom levels. That means uh, zoom uh, zoom level zero to four or five depends on on layer, up layer. Uh, the third make target is import borders, which Borders are um, uh, taken from the spatial uh, another project and are extract from downloaded PBF file and import into PostgreSQL. The fourth step or uh, make target 
uh, is import OSM, which import data from the PBF based on mapping YAML files. The next step is, imp uh, or uh, sorry, four steps, uh, make target uh, is import Wikidata, where we can use and improve our data by uh, import import uh, another languages from Wikidata source. The next target is import SQL, which take all SQL files from from the schema and import and run it and import all SQL functionality and uh, pre-processing data into the PostgreSQL. The last step, <laughs> sorry, the last target is make generate tiles, which generate vector tiles. So uh, our first step is, is uh, complete. The next step is more practical. So in this, in this first setup OpenMap Tiles project, we will uh, download OpenMap Tiles in uh, version 3.12.2. 3, uh, it's the uh, last stable version. And we download Buenos Aires City from the OSM terminal. And as a backup, I will use the GitHub, GitHub repository. Okay. So uh, I hope that everyone, everyone is was able to install Docker and Docker Compose. For uh, now, it's uh, necessary to have uh, to have Docker Docker from PostgIS with PostgIS and OpenMap Tiles too. So uh, in 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 part block one. We will create. We will create a folder where now there is a, like we will create a folder phosphor G. So here for G. So now we have one. Then we will download uh, the. The open map tiles you uh, we can use widget yes sorry uh, my colleagues are right i need to into my right folder and uh, now can download the the correct repository. Um, tiles, archive, refs, tax, e3.12.2, dot, zip, leaf, correct. So, I'm okay. I've downloaded the, the the project in this release, so I will unzip this 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 file into this this uh, folder. So now I have folder open up tiles slash or minus three point twelve point two, but I will rename it to open map. Tiles. So now I have open up tiles folder. Open up tiles. So now I have the project uh, as in the release. Now uh, I will download the the data. So 
there is a make file so i will download now i am in this step will download from osm fr area uh now america slash china slash venus IRS. Okay. Yo. so now i download the Buenos Aires uh, city PDF. I show you in my folder. Google Map tiles, data, South America, China, and here uh, is our our PDF file. Next to it, it was the it was create the bounding box of this area. What click? This file is uh, around nine megabytes. So this this very small area. So we accomplish the first the first step. Uh, the second step is create extra layer. For extra extra layer in open up tiles, we create new folder, cycleway, and we prepare four four files the mapping file which is used by uh, project impossum to import uh, pbf into the postgresql then we will make some preprocessing data then we will create cycleway dot sql to which uh, where is the main main function which will be used for create vector tiles and the last one is cycleway yaml where is defined a configuration now i would i would like to show you how the cycleway looks like in openstreetmap so we'll wait a moment so this is a uh, cycleways in buenos aires you see that this is a relation and and uh, have 1000 uh, 1, members this this uh, network or relation has name the red <laughs> sorry my spanish is not good uh, <laughs> uh, the tag is road and bicycle and type is network this is uh, uh, good to know. The and the second is what I would like to show you is this is one member of the whole relation. It's one path from the whole relation, and this member is part of uh, two relations which now which uh, we need to figure it out in preprocessing but also have separate name separate uh, surface and i think that all what we need but so as i as i mentioned before we will import a new relation for uh, cycleways and this is the the one of the member uh, this is how look the mapping file. You can find this file in the GitHub repository. Then you can you can use the hyperlink in codes for files, where the first one is the mapping YAML. I will show you here. Going bigger, a little bit. Okay, so I would like to make some uh, notes about about this file. This file is configuration file for 
uh, Impossum project. So uh, it's a YAML file. So here is the top top level tag or, or uh, how we say, and means that this create a table. Table will will have a name like way uh, underscore line string. Or into PostgreSQL database, the name will be adjusted by the OSM with underscore at the beginning. So in the database, we will have this this uh, name of the temp of the table. Under that, there is a type where we where, where we put the relation member. That means that we will create the table the cycle by line string table from the uh, relations. The next is columns. Here is defined what columns will the table in PostgreSQL have. The name is the real name in the PostgreSQL database. So we have OSM ID, we have geometry, network, here, we will have member name, we will have surface. Uh, why here is this, this uh, separate value? Uh, that why I would like to show you that if you have more tables in, in, in this mapping camel, you can define the common, the common fields uh, make definition of this of that field uh, up and then use the link that name the link is this one its name the another is type its type is uh, identify geometry string and string for the surface this define the data type of the PostgreSQL uh, table. The next, what is important is value from member. So this value will be in the database taken from not from the relation, but from each member in the in the database. Will not this uh, network have only one some ID, but each line will have the OSM ID based on this uh, one, one member of this relation. Member name, it's not the name of the relation, but it's from it's taken from the member. So the member name line will have uh, the name of the each each part of the of the network. And the last Target is mapping, which define in which tag, which and which value will uh, from the PBF file will be taken into this this table. So, as I show you, the road bicycle is uh, this tag road and this value bicycle. So. Uh, I hope that I don't have to write this this uh, this file again. I need I, I will just uh, in in layers. I will create a folder. I write the uh, name cycle way. In this folder, I will create a new document which. Uh, his uh, its its name will be mapping dot and into this this file I will not very nice but I will copy copy like this. You can also uh, download the whole repository and copy the file. It's it's okay. I I won't uh, just show you and uh, explain what what each line means. So, 
This is the first step for import extra layer. The second file we can we can create configuration which uh, use it's it's a also it's a YAML and I will show you in next slide uh, what uh, what all all fields it have. I will show you in in the file so it's cycleway YAML. There are three three main targets. It's layer. I hope it's seen well. I will make a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So there is three main target layer, schema, and data sources. In the section of layer, there is ID. Very important because this ID will in, in uh, with this with this ID the whole layer will be identified in the vector tiles. This description is just text description of the what is in this map layer. The buffer the bu buffer size um, this number is. It's a little bit uh, more difficult, but uh, the buffer size creates uh, one tile a little bit bigger to keep the name text, or if, if you have boy, a point or, or line, and you have a text in, in the line, then it makes a little bit bigger than the tile itself to keep this text uh, in full in full format and secure that the text will not be cut with the another tile next to it. The fields is uh, definition in which field fields will be in the vector tiles final uh, in the in the vector tiles. So we have network name. And surface. This description is is the same like this one line. This pipe shows that there can be a multi multi line multi line uh, description. So this is the same. It's just the description, but this network name and surface is important for to generate uh, metadata into the uh, MB tiles. So the network name and surface, which we define uh, in the last file, I will, I will show you again. Sure that in in mapping, we have here uh, surface. We have network here name. And the name is the member name for this, but we will adjust it in the SQL files. So again, yeah, cycle way YAML. So this is a field. The data source is uh, defining which uh, and what is what is uh, really necessary to to have it there is geometry field how what is name of geometry field and the query query is the main query which generation of tiles will asking this function to return uh, this uh, these values from the PostgreSQL to each bounding box is bounding box of each tile and on which zoom level. These these are uh, these targets are for uh, identifier of each. Uh, each uh, feature in uh, in, uh, in tiles. The schema 
uh, it's it's a top top uh, target. We define which SQL files should be imported during the import SQL uh, target, peg target. So here can we have as many SQL files we want. We have two. This is the main SQL with the fun with this definition of this function, the function layer cycleway, and this SQL file is uh, for reprocessing data sources. There are uh, two two options. The the type is impossible free and Mapping file where can be found the mapping file for the import OSM, which means which file should be taken for import OSM. That means import data from PPF file into the Postgre. So again, I hope it's it's okay if I not write it uh, by hand, but uh, only silly copy into into the new file these uh, these uh, two files you can you can find in any other layer for example park there is also mapping camel for park where in the lower section there is a table there is a park polygon type polygon and settings of the columns and which mapping tags or which tags should be taken from the PBF into the Postgre. And you can also find this, this description where uh, there, are, there is a function or query with the, with the functional park and the whole the whole same uh, definition so uh, we'll go back to cycleway another document which is called subcycleway I will copy paste the, the definition from the from the GitHub repo and save it. Cool. So now a little bit more difficult to work. As I show you these, for example, this 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 uh, member of the relation is included into two relations. So in the database, this line will be in database twice. So we need to get rid of it only or merge it or make union of these the same line. That was a configuration layer and to see to see step the sql files so uh, we uh, for uh, manage this cycleway layer we will create two extra or two sql files one with the preprocess preprocess data or which uh, one which will preprocessing the data and the second one which create the main function and uh, one more uh, one uh, materialize you which will be for zoom 8 to 12 which ge uh, generalize the lines i go back to two extra layers in this cycleway merge sql file we will create two materialize you one with name OSM Cycleway 
or some cyclovir union line shrink, which will remove duplicates, and or some cyclovir marriage line shrink, which union the segments with the same name and with the same surface. I will go back to the repository where these two files, these two SQL files, the cyclovir merge and cyclovir, uh, cyclovir SQL is already there. You can use it, you can, you, you can download it. This file will be, will be executed in, in a step, in, in a tar make target import SQL. If I, if I show you in the steps, uh, of the open up task project so we already make configuration for for import osm and now we will creating creating uh, values for import sql that is uh, file the cycleway merge and cycleway sql will be executed so every line or a block of lines, for example, this will be executed and run in 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 PostgreSQL. This line will drop materialized view with name OSM cycleway union line string. If there is some of this, this is this line is because if we run multiple times with with uh, some uh, changes, we would like to get rid of this materialized view. It is not necessary for the first run because the database is empty, but this line is just for sure. The next is creating of materialized view is this this block. This target or this this uh, function create materialized view OSM cycleway union line string. It's uh, if you if you look uh, on the other layers, you will see very similar uh, naming so i will keep it as, as it is but you, you you can you can almost you can almost choose whatever name you want but you need to make very very strict uh, renaming of other but please do not in this this in this uh, workshop so we will create materialize you awesome cycle by Union line string S, and now we have uh, select which create the materialize U. The materialize U is better because we it's better than a view, but it's no problem to create a table. But materialize U is uh, better in in uh, for, for this this uh, type of, of queries. So we will create materialize view where we select OSM ID. Then we'll make some processing on geometry, the member name, network, and surface. OSM cycle line string. This table we uh, import in step in uh, make target I think four import OSM. So this table is already in the database. Not for now, but when we make uh, when, when we uh, will creating the make targets it will be there and because we collecting the geometry and creating a line map and making a dump we will group the we will group the the lines based on OSM ID network member name and space this uh, will remove the duplicates from the awesome cycleway line string. The second step is very similar. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, there is only uh, one more step where we, sorry, I make a little bit bigger, where we uh, create the index. The index is very very useful and really necessary if you are working with geometry. So using uh, GIS for geometry, it's uh, indexing 
project or function. So we create the index for the materialized view on the geometry. The second materialized view, uh, same. We firstly we drop it if if it exists, but it, for the first run it will not exist. We create the materialized view cycle by merge light string S, and also uh, there is a select function where because we merge the lines together with different OSM ID, we have to get rid of OSM ID uh, number. In many cases, it's uh, better to keep it OSM ID, but this this materialized view will be used only for zoom level 8 to 12. So it's very far from the user and it's not necessary to have it the OSM ID. In the next zoom levels 13 and 14, there will be OSM ID because it will not be using this very merge line string materialized view. So we uh, merge the lines together, group by network, member name, interface, and also create the index. I hope that is everything okay. If I also just copy this. This file or this this functions this creation into the next file in the folder cycleway next to mapping YAML and cycleway YAML. This file should name cycleway as well and save. It is. You can you can see there is uh, etl dots uh, on every materialize you. This is useful for generate uh, documentation. And if you you pass through these images in uh, TL diagrams, you can you can see. How from the OSM uh, Imposum Free, that's the project to import the, the data from PBF to Postgre, create the OSM Cycleway line string. From OSM Cycleway line string, I create OSM Cycleway Union line string. From this, from this table, I create Cycleway merge and also use this uh, union into the zoom level 14 and it's, it's uh, sometimes it's very good to have a visual not just the um, code but back to the cycle I merge i have cycle my merge which this file is also mapped into this into cycle by yaml where I define that this file should be import during the import SQL file. The next file, cycleway SQL, define one function and one more materialize you. So, as I mentioned before, uh, we will import this layer into zoom level 8 to 12, 13 and 14. If I use OpenStreetMap, this is zoom 11, yeah, 10, 9, 8. This is the zoom where will be the end. From this zoom is not necessary to have all the precisions of the data. So for zoom 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, we will use generalized uh, 
uh, geometry with merge uh, merge line but for zooms 13 and 14 we will use the original geometry with all the awesome ID and all the attributes again into cycleway SQL so uh, in this file there is uh, another materialized view creation which I create uh, materialize you with, with name awesome cycle way merge light string uh, generalize zoom 8 to zoom 12. It's a very complicated name, but it's better to keep it keep it uh, straightforward and uh, clear for for uh, everyone. You can also add some some documentation string and comments whatever this is this is the naming system for open up tiles project uh, this is very clear uh, and easily materialized view because i use osm cycleway cycleway merge line string table from postgre and import all the all the attributes only one difference between cycleway merge line string and this materializes you with the gen Z8 to Z12 is that there is a simplified geometry to uh, resolution on zoom level n. This is the spatial function which just calculate the exercise on this zoom so the geometry will not be so much too much uh, generalized but not too low generalized but on this zoom level is okay so this is very simple material issue but it's it's better to create material issue make the postgre database bigger but without the creating and making some calculation during the final stage what is, which is generate vector tiles so i would uh, i don't want to create the generalized up uh, materialize view for every zoom so now it's 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 uh, only one materialized view. Probably the best solution is to have one materialized zoom for zoom eight, one materialized view for zoom nine, 12, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One materialized view for generalized geometry and using PostGIS function ST simplify. The second part of this of this file is the main function which will be called in on every every tile on every zoom. This this function is a little bit larger, it's 50 lines, but there is a creation or replace replace the function right? where the uh, where the import or um, input input uh, attributes are boundary of the each tile and zoom level this function returns table returns table with desired attributes in this case it some ID, geometry, name, network, and surface. This table will be uh, built with data which are selected from which is selected from and uh, this part 
is using for how to say correctly um, define which data from which table uh, should be returned into the geometry and zoom level uh, value. So every selection has some filter where zoom level is between 8 to 12. And these tiles we will return from the table OSM cycle wave marriage line stream generation Z8 to Z12 with all the uh, attributes. Because in mapping file we have member name as a attribute of the PostgreSQL table, we rename this attribute to name. Uh, I keep the member name because it should be more clear that this name is not taken from relation but from the member of the network. So this where a condition is on every every selection. So we have eight to twelve, zoom thirteen and zoom fourteen plus. Uh, so if if uh, the genitals will query this function, for example, some bounding box, it doesn't matter, but for example, for zoom 7, then it will not select anything because we don't, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this selection will not pass through this filter. But from the zoom 8, it will, it will select the data from this table and create from this data, from this table, new table which is returned by this function into the vector tiles. And so on. So 8 to 12, this zoom 13 will be taken from OSM cycleway merit light string, which this table define in the SQL file cycle wave slash or underscore merge union this one this materialize you and if I go back to cycle way well, it was for Zoom 13 and for Zoom 14, we will use materialize you awesome line string union line string, which is which was defined in cycleway uh, underscore merge SQL file. We will use it this this materialize you into the, the Zoom. There is another condition where geometry meets the bounding box, which uh, will searching for the features only in the bounding box of the one tile. So again, one more one more uh, file to, to copy or create into our into our uh, new map layer. Echo way dot as well. Sorry. Where I also copy all 70 lines of the cycle way SQL from the GitHub repo. Cycle way SQL the base. Okay, save. The step one where we download open map tiles and data is finished. Okay. The second step where we creating the extra layer for open map tiles is creating the mapping, mapping uh, .yaml file, cycleway merge.sql file, 
cycleway.sql file and cycleway yaml file. These four files are necessary to have it in the cycleway folder in layers. This how it looks like the mapping file, the configuration file, file with the uh, query where we select the Osmo ID, geometry name, network, and surface from this function, which was uh, defined in Cycleway SQL file. The preprocessed Cycleway merge SQL file and the the function which return on from demanded style the layer cycleway. So this was very uh, hard, maybe a hard section for step two, create extra layer. But I hope that everyone is finished or at least copy the files from from the repository. But I hope that my talk with help with the with the uh, understand what the files do. The last step is import OpenStreetMap data into PostgreSQL with PostGIS. Before we run all the steps for OpenMap tiles, we need to make a little modification to free free files in in the project on the end of the project modification step so if i look into the my project i need to show uh, hidden files also because there is the hidden file .env I run this file, I need to modify two values. On line 23, there is a maxum, which I need to modify to maxum 14, because my that data are defined to be in the zooms for from 8 to 14. Under things on line 33, its borders clean up. It's also in the repository where the modification of ENV file, these two targets we need to modify because some data like OpenStreetMap fur can contain invalid references, but and is the, is this is the the case where we need to clean up the uh, sorry uh, the borders before we import it. That's only these two lines, so 23, max zoom, and border cleanup to true. It's the only thing we need to modify in this env file. The second file which we need to modify is OpenMaptize.yaml, which this file is like the root file of where the all, all knowledge of all layers are contained. So there is a tile set which includes layers. We need to include our new cycleway layer into this list of all layers we have in OpenMap tiles schema. So we have new folder named cycleway cycleway in in layers folder and here should be the configuration of yaml so this name is very easy cyway.yaml the same as any other what next should be uh, modify we can also modify this version to uh, uh, we can also modify this ID to 4G. It's uh, better to do it. 
for now for this for this uh, workshop and we also it's online 22 and online 25 there is a target name center where we have zero zero but this center will be calculated from the from the uh, file which was created during the download it's this Buenos Aires City D box file where is the boundary box of the data downloaded data so because one zoom uh, it's uh, x y z so we modify this z file this zoom file not to be one but ten because otherwise the data the metadata for this data will be very far and for this file it's all modify and one last modification will be for uh, docker compose uh, yaml this yaml for uh, better communication with the QGIS in Docker Compose YAML we need to change in service for service Postgres we need to change the ports from to uh, make make uh, the Postgres uh, the Postgres uh, Docker to to be able to connect through QGIS so we need to to map the port to 5432 uh, no, uh, uh, how, how it said? Column? okay uh, to 5432 that's only one change in the file docker compose ammo last step so we change the open up tile symbol with adding the configuration yaml we change the id from open map tiles to phosphor g and we modify the center zoom to from one and we also modify the env file the target border cleanups to true and the max zoom from 7 to 14. We also modify the Docker Compose YAML for the Postgre target to uh, modify the ports. So the last step, the last step is import all this data into the Postgre. So I switch to the the terminal. I am in my project when the first I will call make clean, which delete the old files now, which are not necessary. So make. Basically, it will remove the build where they are uh, prepared files for import imports. The next target is make so i create uh, the files into the build folder oh yeah um, and with this creation i call make import folders which import the border from the PBF file into the Postgre. Uh, take a while, maybe it um, it runs the Docker Compose run of Optus tools, uh, running the database and importing the borders. Here is notice the table OSM borderline string does not exist. It's because there is a drop table, but it's there is none. So 
the borders are in OSM underscore border and string table. The next, maybe a little bit more slower, is make import import data, which import the stable the or stable data sets like nature or which are imported right now or the ocean ocean layer which are taken from the sm osm water water project firstly it was importing nature earth second step is importing Water polygons shape file into Postgres, which is also also necessary for the water water layer, which which is uh, one of the layer of OpenWAP Tiles project. I hope it will be quick. Yeah. It was quick, and the last is center line for X. So now we will import. This is the main import import OSM, which take the PBF and import all the layers which we define. In open map tiles, YAML, the root. You, if you remember the list, right? remember the list, which import all these layers into the into the Postgre database. And because it's only ten megabytes PPF, it took fifteen seconds on my small computer for now. And for, uh, for be sure, we also make import Wikidata, which import uh, Wikidata into the for the features, which include the OS, uh, Wikidata ID. In this case, there are 818 items, which include uh, the some language translation for the for the feature. That was the last step of this block. I hope that you are okay and you are ready to go to next blocks. Thank you for your attention and I hope all okay.